As I travel all through the world in search of the most authentic of ingredients, I come across little places where they are the most unassuming human beings and they have these flavors with them that have been handed down from generation to generation. I love interacting and creating a twist with own cuisine and bringing it to each one of you. Let's explore together. Hello and welcome to another episode of Own Cuisine, authentic, universal, meditative. We're going to be making some amazing cauliflower steak. So for that, in our little panini machine, I'm going to be putting in some earth balance. Okay, so you could use any kind of vegan butter of your choice. You could also even use olive oil or avocado oil. I'm going to be taking in some turmeric and mixing it in with the butter and putting some on top as well. It's important to do this when you're using a panini machine. We are trying to recreate the effect of a grill indoors. And most people do a really nice cauliflower steak in an oven, but this is just so much easier to do. So I'm just going to be putting it in like so. After I've done that, I'm going to be placing the cauliflower gently. That can happen, by the way, folks. These cauliflower things are quite frail. Right. And I'm going to be putting in some onions right here. Just some extra turmeric on top, dusting it in, some black pepper, some salt, don't forget the onions for the salt, they always taste better that way, and then I'm going to be putting in some onion granules or onion powder, and what I'm going to do is put a teeny weeny bit of lemon juice right on top of the cauliflower. And then close the panini machine. Okay, I'm going to clean all this up and I'll give that for about maybe two, three minutes and then we'll be all done. So while my cauliflower is cooking, I'm going to be making a little salad on the side, but I will also use it as garnish, and it's not just a pretty thing on the plate, you can actually end up eating it. So I have a combination of green cabbage and purple cabbage right here. I'm going to be putting in some harissa oil, and it's from Baker and Olive. I'll put that in, and I'm going to be throwing in some blackberry ginger balsamic vinegar and I'm also going to put in a teaspoon and a half of sun-dried tomato tapenade, a quick squeeze of lemon, teeny weeny bit of chili flakes and a gentle toss. It's as simple as that. Wow look at that it is so pretty very, very well done. Now you have to be very careful about how you lift these babies and just place them gently. There we go. Another beautiful placement. And one other little piece like that. The onions have softened up, so I'm going to be just adding some onions on the side and this beautiful salad that I made very very gently to be placed like so just a little bit of salt everywhere and some lovely balsamic vinegar so when I'm gonna add the balsamic vinegar I'm just gonna go 
on the side to create some dimension and beauty. Nothing fancy, just pretty like so. Put in a little like this. There you go, that's my version of a beautifully done with Will Marks cauliflower steak. And I'm gonna be doing a taste test. Let's do some Instagram images and then I'll be right back. So time to do a beautiful taste test. So I'm actually just going to cut into it some balsamic, a little bit of the turmeric onion. Like I'm really cutting a piece of steak. I've never done that in my life. So <laughs> cauliflower is how far it can really get. Mmm. You know the funny thing? This cauliflower is cooked to complete perfection, soft enough to take on the flavor and not raw enough. So it's perfect. It seems like it's a cooked meal. And let me just take one more little bite and look at some of the cabbage on it. Mmm, perfect. Mmm. I'm not a big fan of that whole fake meat thing with becoming vegan, but you know, something like this, I think that really works. Until we meet again in another episode of Home Cuisine, this is Vaidhi Priyanka.